Hello, and thank you for visiting worksheets and walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to continue our study of visual problem solving, Singapore style. And this is problem number VPS 5 5. We'll be using this worksheet. You can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our Singapore methods section under visual problem solving. And once again, this is worksheet VPS 5 5. Let's get started. Cameron scored five times as many points as Lars in a basketball game. Mike scored an amount equal to the sixth multiple of nine. If the three boys scored a total of 126 points, how many points did Cameron score? It's a pretty complex problem once again, and the answer or the solution is not quickly evident for you, so let's take this step by step. Step number one, let's think about what we know. If Mike's score is equivalent to the sixth multiple of nine, and we take a look at these multiples, you can see them. We have nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, and 54. So you can see that, well, nine times one would be nine. Nine times two is 18. Nine times three equals 27. 9 times 4 equals 36, 9 times 5 equals 45, and the product of 9 times 6 equals 54. So 9 times 6 equals 54, so the 6 multiple of 9 is 54. So there we know that Mike's score equals 54. So that would be 54 points that he scored in the basketball game. Now we can move on to step 2. We also know that the three boys scored 126 points altogether. And knowing that, we can figure that Cameron and Lars have a combined score of 126 minus 54, which gives us a difference of 72. So you take a look back at the problem again. We got that information right from the problem. They all scored 126 points altogether. Then since we calculated or we figured out what the six multiple of nine would be, which was 54, we can do a little subtraction. We've got the total score of 126 minus Mike's score of 54. And then we have a difference of 72. So now, we know that Cameron and Lars's combined score would be 72. 72 points between those two boys. And knowing that, we can move on to step three. Since Cameron's score is five times more than Lars's score, we can set up this model drawing. We can see Lars's score and we can also set up Cameron's score based on the information given. How do we do that? Well, we looked at that clue in the story up here from the first sentence. Cameron scored five times as many points as Lars in a basketball game. So we can apply that to our model drawing, our visual problem solving method here. And we can see that Lars scored this amount. Okay, there's Lars's amount. And Cameron scored five times that many. So one, two, three, four, five times as many as Lars. And we also know that those two boys now scored 72 points together. So you might be thinking, ah, I can see what's going on here. I could figure this out. So now we can see that six parts equal 72. So one part must equal 12. How do we calculate that? We can take a look right here. We've got 72 divided by 6 equals 12. 72 divided by 6 equals 12. So now we know that each part equals 12. Well, Lars has 12 points. Well, how many po points would Cameron have in this case? We can figure that out. You're probably thinking, ah, I know how to do that. So let's check it out. If one part equals 12 points, 
then five parts, like Cameron has, five parts would equal 12 times five or 60 points. We've shown our work over here. Have we solved our math job? Let's go up and check. Make sure we answered what the problem was asking us. How many points did Cameron score? Absolutely, we did. So now we have our solution. Cameron scored 60 points altogether. And that was another quick look at visual problem solving Singapore style. And that was problem VPS 5-5. Thank you for checking out worksheets and walkthroughs.com and we'll see you again next time. Bye.